love music producers and sound designers. This is Kay Cox. And in this tutorial, you don't see my face, for one, because we're going to connect my MPC into Ableton, because I don't have a push to, but I do have my MPC. Without further ado, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay in contact with me for new music, updates, tutorials, free giveaways, sound packs, and more fun stuff within music production. Let's get into it. So we have a fresh slate. What we're going to do is load in a drum rack into Ableton. Go to Instruments, Drum Rack, click and drag into a, a MIDI channel. I'm just going to delete these just for my sake. I want things to look more organized. So, and here to the left, you have different columns of drum racks, which is essentially different, um, different pitches on the piano row. So let's just go here to regular old C1, and we're going to drop our MPC plugin into C1. So here's our MPC. As you can see, I didn't update anything. I don't even really use my MPC. I only use it for, I only use my MPC for like music videos. Beat on some pads real quick, get some ideas out. That's the only time I honestly use my MPC. Next thing we're gonna do is load up some sounds in our MPC. So of course I'm gonna load in my sounds. And if you don't know, I have a lot of free sounds on my website, diversekcox.com. You can get drums, serum presets, loops, all types of good little candy for free. Here we are. Have, we have our clap. Now let's load in a kick. And it's there. Now let's put it on full velocity. Kick. Clap. Ah. Now let's add in some hats. So you got. Cool. That's sexy. But is as you can see, it's all here. Everything is, even though I'm pressing different pads on my MPC, it's all coming out of C1. But we don't want that. We want to have it to where these 16 pads are coordinated with these 16 pads on my MPC. So what we're going to do, we're going to add in an external instrument. Go to instruments, external EX, external instrument. Click and drag it into our F1 where our clap is and our hat are right here. That is G sharp one. Let's click and drag and install the instrument to G sharp one. And it's still coming out of our MPC right here. So what we're gonna do, go to MIDI 2, let's go to drum rack, and then go to MPC. I'm gonna go here, try and program tab and scoot over to the right side under program we want to program our clap to out channel three and four as you can see our external instrument now is the clap so let's turn it down it's way too hot in the mix and our mpc is still the kick and it's to the hi-hat, actually. So, kick, clap. Now let's go here. Go to drum rack. Let's connect it to channel 5-6. Again, go back to MPC. Hit our hi-hat. Program it into out 5-6. And now this is a hi-hat. So that's only one way you can put in any type of sounds you want to into this drum rack. You can have a multiple amount of sounds into the drum rack from your MPC. Even if I want, I can see the different channels and then mix 
their different channels how I see fit. So if the clap is too loud, I can turn it down. If the hi hat's too loud, I can turn it down. So it just gives me more control over the MPC rather than just have an MPC on one drum rack as a plug-in. So without further ado, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, recommend to your friends. Ciao.